Hi everyone, welcome to Senior Crafter Noon. Today we're going to be making pumpkin button art. If you've got your kit from the library, you should have everything you need to follow along. I hope you enjoy this project. I'm going to go over everything that you should have in your kit for this project. So you're going to have an outline of a pumpkin, a little bottle of tacky glue, two different colors of buttons, as well as a piece of burlap and one of these picture frames. I have a completed project here just so you can see what that looks like. So I'm going to show you how to set this up. So you're going to need to take your picture frame apart. The only parts we're going to need are this front part, the outside, and the back. You don't need the glass, so get rid of that. You also um, don't need this piece of paper here. <clears throat> so your first step is going to be to cut out your pumpkin and place it here. <clears throat> so I'm going to take mine down just so that it doesn't move around as much. You can use any kind of tape. This is just what I have here on the desk and you want to keep this uh, <clears throat> centered as much as possible. We're going to be using a ton of glue. Uh, most of it is going to be soaked up by this piece of paper, but uh, some of it may bleed here. If you're worried about the table or the surface that you're working on, go ahead and put down a piece of plastic or something. Okay, so we've got this. <clears throat> You'll want to grab your glue and these do need to be cut here at the tip before you can use them. <clears throat> and we need <clears throat> our burlap. So the burlap covers this and hangs over the edge just a, a bit, so I'm going to try to center that. And then we're going to glue our buttons directly to this burlap. So I'm going to start with my orange buttons. I'm going to put some glue down on the outside, so I'm trying to follow these black lines. And I'm just filling in a little bit of space at a time. Now that we have most of our pumpkin covered, we're going to go back with another layer of buttons and fill in some of these gaps where you can see the burlap. I'm going to grab some more orange buttons and just fill in space where I see it. So I'm going to apply the glue directly to the buttons and then add them on in these spaces. And you do need plenty of glue.
Okay, now that I've got this all filled in and I can't really see any of the burlap peeking through, I'm going to work on the stem. So grab your bag of brown buttons. And your glue. I'm going to fill in this space here. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger than the printed one. and start putting our brown buttons down. And we're also going to do two layers of buttons, so don't worry about filling in all the space right away. I've got the first layer down. I'm going to add on top of that. Okay, so that is finished. I'm going to get my buttons out of the way. So this is done. Uh, most of the glue stuck to that pumpkin cutout that's on the back side of this, the white paper cutout. So you're just left with this. There's a ton of glue here, so this will need to dry for at least a day. Once that's done, all you're going to do is wrap the burlap around this backing. And then you're going to grab the front part of your frame and put this together. That's it for today's Senior Craft and Noon. Thank you for joining us. I hope you enjoyed the project. Check out our schedule for more crafts, paint nights, author visits, book buzzes, and guest speakers. I'll see you next time. Oh,